Today we are evaluating which company presents a superior investment opportunity in the artificial intelligence sector when we compare Palantir Technologies to Snowflake. Both Palantir and Snowflake are prominent players in the burgeoning cloud and AI markets. Palantir's cloud-based platform empowers government agencies and large corporations to consolidate data from various sources, subsequently analyzing this data with sophisticated AI algorithms to facilitate informed decision-making. On the other hand, Snowflake assists large organizations in aggregating their data from a multitude of computing platforms, cleaning and storing this information in a centralized cloud-based data warehouse that is easily accessible by third-party data visualization and analytics applications. Initially, both Palantir and Snowflake captured the enthusiasm of many investors, yet their appeal has diminished over the past two years due to decelerating sales growth and the impact of rising interest rates on their valuations. Currently, Palantir and Snowflake are trading at 43% and 66% below their all-time highs from 2021, respectively. The pertinent question now is whether either of these undervalued stocks is worth purchasing today. Palantir made its public debut in 2020, promising investors that it could achieve annual revenue growth of at least 30% through 2025. In 2021, its revenue surged by 41%, but this growth slowed to 24% in 2022 and 17% in 2023. The company attributed this disappointing deceleration to the erratic timing of its government contracts and macroeconomic challenges in the commercial sector. However, looking ahead to 2024, Palantir anticipates revenue growth between 18 and 20 percent as its government business stabilizes and its thriving United States commercial sector continues to expand. Analysts project that Palantir's revenue will grow at a compound annual growth rate of 20 percent from 2023 to 2026. While this stabilization is encouraging, it is important to note that Palantir's stock remains expensive, trading at 18 times this year's sales. Similarly, Snowflake Snowflake also went public in 2020. In 2022, the company set an ambitious long-term target of generating $10 billion in annual product revenue, which constitutes the majority of its top line by fiscal 2029. Snowflake initially appeared poised to meet this lofty goal, with product revenue skyrocketing by 120% in fiscal 2021, 106% in fiscal 2022, and 70% in fiscal 2023. However, in fiscal 2024, product revenue growth slowed to 38%, and analysts expect total revenue to increase by just 24% to $3.5 billion in fiscal 2025. To reach $10 billion in product revenue by fiscal 2029, Snowflake would need to achieve a compound annual growth rate of 30% over the next five fiscal years. Unfortunately, analysts predict its total revenue will grow at a compound annual growth rate of 24% from fiscal 2024 to fiscal 2027, indicating that Snowflake may fall short of this target as it loses its status as a hypergrowth tech company. This slowdown is particularly concerning for a stock that is still trading at 13 times this year's sales. Both companies are navigating similar macroeconomic challenges, yet Palantir boasts a more robust profitability profile than Snowflake. Palantir achieved profitability on a generally accepted accounting principles basis in 2023, with analysts forecasting a 71% surge in its earnings per share in 2024 and a compound annual growth rate of 49% over the subsequent two years. On an adjusted basis, analysts expect Palantir's earnings per share to rise by 32% this year. Despite this promising outlook, Palantir's stock remains pricey, trading at 67 times forward earnings. Conversely, Snowflake turned profitable on a non-generally accepted accounting principles basis in fiscal 2022, but it remains far from achieving break-even on a generally accepted accounting principles basis. Analysts anticipate that Snowflake will continue to report net losses exceeding $1 billion annually from fiscal 2024 through fiscal 2027. This is concerning given that Snowflake Snowflake faces formidable competition from Amazon Web Services, Microsoft's Azure, and Alphabet's Google Cloud, all of which integrate their data warehouses into their respective cloud platforms. Unlike these competitors, Snowflake does not own its cloud infrastructure platform, instead hosting its data warehouses on Amazon Web Services, Azure, and Google Cloud, thereby incurring recurring fees to its principal competitors. The valuations of both companies appear to have been inflated by the recent surge in interest in AI-related stocks. 
However, if forced to choose between the two, I would favor Palantir due to its stabilizing growth rates, soaring profits, and fewer direct competitors in its specialized market. This preference explains why I hold a larger position in Palantir compared to Snowflake. In summary, while both Palantir and Snowflake present compelling narratives in the AI and cloud markets, Palantir's more stable growth, profitability, and competitive positioning make it the more attractive investment at this time. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.